before I start, I just want to say, please excuse the state of what I look like and my voice. I'm not very well at the minute. I'm full of cold. I can barely breathe, which is the main reason why I thought this video idea was perfect to do right about now. I'm going to be doing 24 hours of watching Christmas films. So it's December. We've got to get festive. And what better way to get in the Christmas spirit than watching endless amounts of Christmas films. It's currently about 10 o'clock in the morning. So that means I have to watch Christmas films until around 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're gonna see if I can stay awake for 24 hours. We're gonna see if I can do it. Obviously I am allowed to get up and use the toilet and like grab a drink and stuff. Like I'm not restricting myself that much to not being able to move. But apart from that, I'm not allowed to do anything else. I'm not allowed to go anywhere. I can't leave the house. I have to sit watching Christmas films. Let's go pick our first Christmas film. So I'm currently sat on the sofa where I'm gonna be for pretty much the next 24 hours. I've got the TV on. I'm gonna turn it around so you can help me choose a Christmas film, I guess. Not that you can have much input because you won't be seeing this until afterwards. Um, I'm quite picky with movies, so this could take a while. So here we have the Christmas films on Sky really sure what to watch. I actually watched Fred Claus yesterday so I'm gonna avoid that. Not keen on Die Hard. Oh the Polar Express. I like I quite like that one. Yeah let's go with the Polar Express. Just got to download that. So the movie's just started. I've turned the lights out so that it feels more cozy so we've just got the Christmas lights there. And over here we have the Christmas tree lights. So yeah, I'm just sitting here. I love this part of the movie where they all try and help him onto the train. It's so cute. Just all casually watching the movie with me. Bonding time. I really think they should re-release the Polar Express, but like as a real life movie, so not like a cartoon version. I think it'd actually be done really well. Um, it's one of the most Christmas films ever, like to me anyway. I absolutely love it, so I'd be absolutely buzzing if they did that. Also, before I get too far into this video, I do want to say that I didn't create this video idea. I got the idea from YouTuber Imagination. I'm sure all of you know who she is. But I will leave a link to her channel in the description below. The only difference is I think she did this as just like general movies. So just any type of movies. Whereas I'm doing it as Christmas movies. I don't know if anyone else has done it this way before. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, her channel will be in the description below. So we're basically near the end of the movie now. It's about 20 to 12-ish. And in a minute we're about to pick a new film. But we're just going to watch the end. This part is just absolutely so cute. I love it. hear the bell because he believes it's so cute oh my gosh oh i swear it's nothing better than christmas films they're the best type of films to watch and if you disagree then you're just lying She doesn't oh, believe. So I was gonna say let's try and search for another film, but I really want to watch Miracle on 34th Street. However, oh my gosh, the newer versions there. Yes, this is like possibly my all-time favorite. Christmas film. I absolutely love it. So we're going to pop this film on. This is the second film we're going to watch. Let's download that. I love 
love this part. The kid thinks it's Santa Claus and it actually is. He no. thinks you're Santa Claus. Uh, I'm sorry. He, uh, he thinks you're Santa Claus. I am. <laughs> I am. That's the way I've actually seen this movie that many times. I can pretty much, like, say it word for word. Just about. It has been one of my favourite films for, like, years. So if you've never actually seen Miracle on 34th Street, I highly recommend you go watch it. There's two versions. I prefer the newest version. Well, it's not new anymore. It's from 1994, which is like before I was even born. But then there's an even older version, which I've never seen. But I think I should probably give it a go, to be fair. See if I like it as much as the newer one. Nearly at the end of the movie now. It's Christmas Day. And she's realising that her wishes have come true and that Santa's real. the best movie ever. So it's currently about half past one. I've moved over to Netflix to try and find another film. I'm not going to make you sit and watch every single film because then this video literally would last hours and you'd all be bored stupid by the end of it. So I'm going to watch a few more movies and I will check in with you in a little while to keep you updated with how things are going. Just need to try and find a new movie now. I don't know why I came over to Netflix most of them are rubbish over here. So this is the film I've decided to watch. I've never even heard of this before. It's new out this year, so we're going to see if it's any good. It's currently in the popular on Netflix section, so I'm going to hope that it's worth the watch. I'll give you my verdict later on in this video. So guys, it's about 10 o'clock at night and we're still going strong. What time did we start this? I'll have to watch the footage back and find out so I'll make sure that I do properly do 48 hours. Was it about half 10? I want to say we're nearly around the 12 hour mark now. I am actually so tired. I'm currently making something to eat because I've not eaten anything like proper all day. Um, I've just put a new movie on. I've put Jingle All The Way on. I absolutely love this one. This is on the Sky Cinema, Sky Movie selection. Netflix had pretty much nothing. The last movie that I showed you that I was watching ages ago, just an update on that, it is actually a really good movie. It's got quite a lot of like singing in it, so you, if you're into like musicals and stuff, then you'll probably really enjoy that film. Again, I know I said it earlier, but please excuse the state of me. I'm still not very well. I think I'm just getting worse, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I've watched a few movies in between, all from the Sky Cinema section, and we're still going strong. But my eyes just want to shut, if I'm honest. So we're going to watch Jingle all the way and have something to eat. And let's see how far we can go. I really hope we can do this challenge, guys. I really hope. Fingers crossed. So this is just starting. I absolutely love this one. I've not actually seen it in years, so quite excited to watch this. So, guys, it's currently about 5 a.m., I'm in the middle of watching Home Alone 4. I did want to watch Home Alone 1, but apparently you've got to pay for that. And I was like, no thank you, you galley's poor. I ain't getting no coin from this YouTube thing. So I'm gonna go for the free option. However, I'm probably about like 25, 30 minutes into the movie and I'm literally falling to sleep. So I hate to be a quitter, but I think this might have to be the end of the challenge. I've done my best. We started at like 9, 10 a.m. So I've done around 19-ish hours of watching films. And it's been fun, but when you're ill, it can be quite tiring. You know, trying to keep your eyes open when all you want to do is sleep. Unfortunately, I think I failed the challenge. So close, yet so far. I think I'm just tired, guys. So I'm going to end this video here. Yeah, I have tried to keep myself awake with coffee as well like I've literally got an empty cup there it just ain't worked it ain't worked 
Yeah, I've been watching Home Alone 4, like I said, but I think that's time to end the movie now. Because I am just far too tired. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. If you want to see more like 24 hour challenges or just any type of challenges, leave a comment in the comment box below and let us know. And I'll give them a go when I'm not so ill next time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.